Hey guys, it's Mark from North of Seven Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are fishing a tournament on Potash Lake. Um, it's been a while <laughs> since I've been here, a few years. This is actually my third tournament I've fished on Potash Lake. Um, <clears throat> so we're hoping, I don't know, Potash is probably gonna be a shootout for 20 pounds. So we'll see. Uh, We'll see what we can do. The goal is 20 for sure. We need 15 to get paid, I imagine. So here we go. Wish me luck. That's a netable one. He's gotta be three. There we go. Oh gosh. All right, there we go. He's three, three and a half. All day, all day. Whew. All right, we're starting things off right. Five of these, we're getting paid. Five of these will be close to 17. Oh gosh, you weren't coming on done, were you? Alright, I see my pliers. There we go. Beauty fish. He's probably three and a quarter, maybe three and three and change, but he's a good one to have. For sure. There we go. All right, five of those, I'd be a happy man. He'll keep, but uh, will he keep? Nah, I don't think so, actually. I think he's about 11 inches. You're, you're green, but we need your great grandma. Oh gosh, not what we want, tiny little small mouth. Oh gosh, Whew. there we go, we got one decent large mouth out of that creek arm. Then we're gonna try the other creek arm, fish some new water and see what we can Wrangle up here. Ah, nope. Not even a large mouth. Or a 12 incher. Gosh, there we go. There we go. Little smelly. Little guy. All right, where are your big, uh, big ones at? All right, um, let's see, so where are we here? We are um, like an hour and a half into the day, still got one in the box. Fished uh, the best stuff I've got on this lake. Um, let's see, uh, we're about to fish some new water here, I think. Don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, but you know, uh, I fish so many, 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 many lakes I've never been on before, and I usually do pretty good. Like it's not hard for me to keep five. Uh, it's not hard for me to catch five keepers. Sometimes it is, but usually it's not. Um, so I think that my best shot is just fish some new water. And uh, just keep an open mind. 
So that's your update for the day so far. He's close to 12 inches, but I don't think he's gonna help. Ooh, quick release. Got one. That's a good one. Please be a largey. Yep. Oh, shoot. He's not that good, but. Oh, it's barely two pounds. Put it in the small side. Not even probably. That's okay, at least you're a large mouth. <clears throat> thought he was over three. Thought he was like, could have been a giant. Thought he was about ready to make a run for it. <clears throat> nope. An incher, not gonna help the cause. <sighs> All right, guys, that is maybe a twelve incher. Call him 11. I don't really want to keep a small mouth. Uh, there we go. All right, so what is the deal? Oh, yes, yes. All right, so we made a move. And when we made a move, my shifting cable uh, broke, I believe. So now we're just idling <laughs> full speed ahead. Um, so basically, I think I'm going to go into this marsh pocket, which I'm not, I've fished the outside of it, but I've never really like fished it too, too, too much. And uh, see if I can get anything there. And uh, then I might, I think I'm just probably going to work my way home and we'll see if I can get a, a bag. Uh, right now we're sitting at four for eight and a half. Don't even have five. It's only like not even 10 o'clock, so I mean, it's still five hours of fishing left. Uh, but yeah, my, uh, my shifting cable broke or something went wrong anyways. I heard like poop and then all of a sudden I had like no resistance at all shifting. So I'll have to figure that out. But uh, not, uh, not I'm, I am concerned, but I'm not overly concerned. I have big hopes for this little marsh here. And, uh, and we're just gonna try and, you know, we're gonna try and get five for 10 and then work our way to 15, which is probably check range, I guess. You know, 15 is probably, 15 pounds probably get you third place here, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. You know, obviously it's a shootout to 18 pounds, which could happen, you know. Like pull up the right spot, you get three fours, and then, uh, you know, I'm at probably 16, 17. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah, that's the update, guys. So, not, uh, not great news, but we'll do what we can do. Nope, I set the hook in this up. Oh, 
There we go. Whew. He's probably three. at the dot hi hi two there we go this is our miracle comeback now that we've got a broken outboard who knows <laughs> all right put you on the big side all right we're gonna hit the shore all right so now we've got three for Eleven and a half, probably. Good, that's good. One more three pounder, and we are well on our way to getting a third place finish. All right, three for eleven and a half pounds, guys. With a broken outboard. Not the kind of largies we need. I need some big old buckets, not little buckets. All right. That's a fish. Please be a giant. I don't think you're gonna help. Gosh, it was stuck in so many friggin' weeds. I was like, this is a five pounder. <sighs> You're not gonna help. But he was a keeper, so. Larges are still, still active. That's good. Little guy. Yep. Whew. Feisty smallmouth. I don't know what you were doing in here. Not going to help. Well, I guess we'll give you guys an update. Um, here's an 8 inch largemouth. And I was going to fish the boat launch, and I did, and I didn't have anything. But I was like, you know, it's only 11 o'clock, so I, I took a, I just kind of took a break, and uh, I just kind of took a break, and um, at the at the beach there, and just kind of walked around the water for a bit, and just kind of did my own stuff, and and it was fun, and I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just have a breather here. We don't need to trailer up yet. We're still in this. So, uh, decided I would fish probably the creek arms close to the boat ramp since uh, my outboard is, uh, is pretty much kaputs. So still just, you know, one, one four pounder would go a long way right now. A couple threes and, you know, we're right there for sneaking in for third uh third check place and you know uh you never know 11 pounds isn't gonna win but you know you never know where 11 pounds is gonna take you really all right guys let's catch some more fish a little small mouth not gonna help us we're catching bass still would you just calm down Thank you. Alright. Nope. A feisty 10 inch smallmouth. Maybe 11. Who knows? Not gonna cut it. Oh, 
little small mouth. Gosh, where are the large mouth moose like? Seriously. Well guys, I was just saying that this is about the last spot I have any hope for. Uh, I caught, a, caught another little nine inch smallmouth. Oh, oh, I think that was grass. Um, I just, I, I don't know why I haven't connected with another decent fish. I'm still catching fish, but just not the right ones, obviously. Well, there's a boat ramp there. Probably have time for another 25, 30 cast, maybe. Whew, I'm tired of catching dinks. Like, physically tired of catching dinks. <laughs> and emotionally, I guess. I'm tired of catching dinks in all faucet facets. Guys, what's up for Podash Lake back here at the boat ramp? I will say the only thing I really, really like about the boat ramp is, other than parking, uh, it's nice that it is tucked out of the wind in this little creek channel. All right, guys, I'm just gonna bury my boat over here. Looks like someone left a junker. <laughs> All right, don't leave your junk boats at a municipal boat ramp. That's the lesson of today. Ugh. What a piece of human trash. All right, guys, that's potash. Uh, I don't know what I could have done better. I, I guess my hookup ratio wasn't great. But other than that, I thought I did okay. So thank you guys for watching and take care.